Greta Thunberg got Andrew Tate arrested. And I'm trying to say that sentence without laughing, but it's not possible. I went off Twitter for just a teeny tiny bit of time. Just a, just a little while. And when I decided to check it again, this is what I came back to. So, good morning, I guess. Now you may be asking how this happened and you may also be asking why I chose to make instant coffee when there's literally a coffee machine right there. But if we stop and ask ourselves why I do what I do and why my hair is doing whatever it's doing, then we will never get onto the topic at hand, so let's move on, stop asking me questions. <laughs> what we know so far is that internet personality Andrew Tate has just been arrested along with his brother under suspicion that they were involved in some very, very serious illegal activity, and that a video that he made for Greta Thunberg may be what tipped off the Romanian authorities to his location, so that they could make this arrest. I. I truly, sometimes I just don't know anymore. I, I really, I don't know anymore. So let's talk in a bit more detail about what actually happened. But first we need to talk about the two main players in this story. So who is Greta Thunberg and why was she involved in an exchange with Andrew Tate? I will assume that you're more likely to know who Greta Thunberg is than to know who Andrew Tate is. So I will keep her introduction short and sweet. Greta Thunberg is a climate activist from Sweden who rose to prominence in 2018 when she was protesting for action on climate change. What made her more noteworthy and what made people pay attention to her was that she was a young teenager while she was doing all this activism. I was gonna say activation, that's not the right word. But since then, she has become a global figure in the climate movement. And she's spoken at international events, conferences, things like that. She is a very, very well-known climate activist. And she's currently only 19 years old. However, this is where the issue comes in. People seem to be really, really weird about global warming online. I don't know why it sparks so many arguments, but it seems to. And therefore, she has been met with a lot of controversy and people attacking her online. Although mainly, this seems to come from grown men. It's weird. On the other hand, Andrew Tate is a kickboxer who rose to fame in 2016 when he was removed from the show Big Brother because a video was circulating that appeared to be of him hitting a woman with a belt. He said this video was fake. We still don't know. Despite this incident though, he has managed to gain a pretty substantial online following and has amassed millions of followers on social media, mostly people who want to hear his very controversial takes. And many of his followers don't even know about the Bells video. I, for one, had never heard of it until the other day. I thought he was just some man who got attention online on purpose by saying really bizarre stuff. And I, like many others, had no idea about his alleged involvement in actual serious crimes. And yes, he has said a lot of controversial things online. For example, when I speak to some of these feminists who are like, I don't want kids, I think you're the most miserable, stupid bitch in the world. And I realized yesterday that I can actually, genuinely, right now nothing is stopping me from becoming Batman. Nothing. I have a Batcave. I have an Alfred. I have a Batmobile, a Bugatti. I can fight. <laughs> that one's not really controversial, I just think it's silly. <laughs> And of course, my personal favorite quote. I do know how to administer CPR. However, I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. If you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't really know you, you're gonna die. No, not even if you're a friend. If you're my friend, you just can't be a p Well, I had a heart attack. Get the f up. F wrong with you. Go hospital later. Have a drink, cigarette, cup of coffee. Back in the game. F having a heart attack near me, you little p a really lovely dude, clearly. Oh, I need to take a break. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, I just got a package. I've been waiting, I've been waiting for this. Hold on, let's have a look. I 
read the first book of the series in two days and then I ordered these. Well, I didn't order these, these were a gift and I've been waiting for them so I can read them and now they're here and I'm very excited and I just wanted to show you. And if you wanted a YA fantasy recommendation, read The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I think it's really good. But I'm not a booktuber, so that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> now, because of Andrew's very controversial takes, he was banned from social media this year. It's a story you may have heard about, everybody was talking about it. But despite these bans, Andrew has managed to maintain his online presence and has still grown even more followers. So at this point, you may be wondering how there is any story involving both Andrew Tate and Greta Thunberg together. And honestly, I'm right there with you because this is just as weird as when Elon Musk was dating Grimes and we all found out about it and we were all very, very confused. But don't worry, cause I'm gonna tell you, perhaps a little bit against my own will, but I am gonna tell you anyway. Firstly though, I need to get myself ready because I have to go meet Megan very soon. This all happened because Andrew Tate took it upon himself to tweet at Greta Thunberg and ask if she wanted him to email her about his 33 cars and their enormous emissions. And Greta responded, yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. Now some people, including me, seem to think that this was a very, very funny response to his tweet, but it seems like Andrew himself just did not agree. He then responded, thank you for confirming via your email address that you do have a small penis. The world was curious and I do agree that you should get a life. And this was posted alongside a video where he had a completely bizarre rant about Greta and how she is part of the matrix and has been programmed and that she's trying to get people to be poor because it's not their fault that the sun is hot or something along those lines. <laughs> and he had some pizza boxes beside him that he said to make sure these don't get recycled. So just, you know, going really out of his way to make whatever point that he's making. This looks beautiful, by the way. Don't you agree? I think this looks really good. <laughs> I don't look like a crazy person at all. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> now this is not the first time that Greta Thunberg has had some weird encounters with grown men on the internet. Not by a long shot. For example, at one point, Vladimir Putin called her a pawn and a poorly informed teenager. So in response, she changed her Twitter bio to kind but poorly informed teenager. And then there was also the time that Trump sarcastically said about her, she seems like a very happy young girl looking forward to a bright and wonderful future. So nice to hear. And then of course, she changed her bio to a happy young girl looking forward to a bright and wonderful future. And she did the same thing again when Trump said, so ridiculous, Greta must work on her anger management problem, then go to a good old fashioned movie with a friend. Chill, Greta, chill. Now here is where this story gets a lot more serious because another thing that I didn't realize is that Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan were being investigated by the Romanian government for allegedly being involved in organized human trafficking. And from what I read, it looks like they weren't able to make any arrests because they weren't able to find them and because they were never in Romania. But a couple of hours after he made- why am I trying to speak while doing lip liner? It's not gonna work. <laughs> Let me do this first. But a few hours after his video to Greta Thunberg, they were both arrested. Now it is important to point out that no convictions have been made. This is still an ongoing investigation. And you know, innocent until proven guilty, all that. And people were speculating that this video is what helped the authorities to find out where he was because the pizza boxes in the video were from a Romanian pizza chain called Jerry's Pizza. So essentially people think Greta Thunberg is the reason that Andrew Tate got arrested. Okay, give me one second, I need to get changed. So can we say with absolute certainty that 
Andrew Tate's video to Greta Thunberg is the reason that he got arrested. No, but I don't think we can rule it out either. Big hoops or small hoops? Gonna do big hoops. But according to Greta, this is just what happens when you don't recycle your pizza boxes. But let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. I would really love to know your opinions. And of course, thank you for choosing to spend this part of your day with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel. It really, really does help me out a lot, a lot more than you know. And you can also turn on notifications, like, comment, share, you know how it works. All of those interactions really, really help. If you want to keep up with me on social media, I'm Vangelina Scott everywhere. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. See you in the next one. Bye.